Just five years old, yet Jill Brown, who has muscular dystrophy, relies on him to look after her. Yates, the Labrador Retriever Cross, was given to Jill, who's from Salisbury, by the charity Dogs for the Disabled. Without him, she wouldn't be able to live on her own. Carolyn Sim reports. Hi, Jill. It's Carolyn from Meridian TV. Oh, hello. Yates will open the door for you. Thank you. Oh, hello, Yates. Yates, or Yatesy as he's known, is no ordinary dog. He's not only Jill Brown's best friend, but thanks to him, she can live independently. Jill has muscular dystrophy, which restricts her mobility a lot. She's had Yatesy for four years, and he's turned her life around. He doesn't just play fetch, he picks Jill's things up if they fall, he carries things upstairs, and he brings Jill the post. Good boy. I can't manage without him. There's no two ways about it. Because he's my 24 hour helper. He's any time of the day or night, he'll fetch things for me and pick things up. And he's there all the time. Good boy. Jill's not the only one in need of the kind of help Yatesy can give. There's a long waiting list at the charity Dogs for the Disabled, based in Banbury. Jill's now organising a fundraising concert in aid of Dogs for the Disabled next month. She wants others in her position to have a better life and hope for the future. Carolyn Sim in Salisbury for Meridian News. Isn't he brilliant? Now, an academic from the University of Sussex is urging the government to take action against additives in children's food. Professor Eric Millstone has written to the Food Standards Agency, asking them to give more advice to parents on synthetic food colourings. It follows research from Southampton University which linked additives and hyperactivity in children. Some pretty weird and wonderful things turn up on eBay from Elvis Presley rubber bath ducks to ornamental gothic skulls. But today a firm in Sussex added an item which will take a lot of beating as James Trollope reports. There's something very strange in this man's briefcase and he's hoping someone will snap it up for a million dollars. Open the lid and you'll see a smallish diamond but there's more to this particular gem than meets the eye. We have created three life gem diamonds from the hair of Beethoven. And the idea of it is to really uh, show the new technology that exists to create a diamond of your loved one um, out of hair. How do we know that it's actually Beethoven's hair? Well, it's come from a company called University Archives in America, which uh, holds the Guinness Book of Records world record for the largest collection of celebrity and historical hair. And it's certificated by the owner of that uh, museum in America. Um, to be Beethoven's hair. And there it is. For the past few years, scientists have been extracting carbon from people's ashes to make memorial diamonds. Now they're using a similar process with hair. Beginning with Beethoven, they're hoping it'll start a trend. The Hove firm marketing the idea reckons a diamond from a loved one's hair is the modern equivalent of a Victorian locket. But if you fancy a sparkler from Beethoven's Barnet, be prepared to spend up to a million dollars on eBay. The money will go to charity. James Trollope in Brighton for Meridian News. A look at the weather now with Sparkling Parkin. <laughs> Good morning. Well, it is quite a dreary day today. If we have a look at the satellite sequence, you can see there's an awful lot of cloud. One or two breaks over our region, but generally it is an overcast picture. And if we take the cloud away, you can see that hiding underneath it are a fair few showers. There's nothing too heavy in there, but it's all going to sweep across from the west through the day. So there is a good chance you will get wet at some point. But aside of that, in the moments of brightness, we could see the temperature rising to around 17 degrees, which is a couple of degrees warmer than it was yesterday. Although, to be honest, with the cloud cover, and with the strong breeze that we've got today, you probably won't feel any warmer than you did yesterday. Now, tonight, nothing really changes. It's the same mix of clear skies in some places and odd light showers in others. That breeze is still with us, and it will be there again when we wake up tomorrow morning. A similar sort of day uh, with odd showers here and there, odd bits of brightness to look forward to as well. With a chance that around lunchtime there might be a more organised band of rain coming in from the west. But again, there won't be anything too heavy on it. So certainly through the afternoon, there's a chance you may well stay dry and bright. Uh, temperatures up to around 18 degrees tomorrow, but still 
with that strong breeze feeling a little on the chilly side. Then the outlook, well, Friday will be another day, just as messy, unfortunately, with a good deal of cloud and showers. The weekend not looking too bad. Saturday, there could be an odd bit of rain here and there, but generally dry and bright, with a fine Sunday to follow. <laughs> That's it for now, but do join Fred and me tonight when we'll meet finalist number three in our Carer of the Year competition. Hazel Wilde has fostered 150 children and at the age of 72 shows no sign of stopping. If you think you have a story we should know about, you can email us at yourstory at meridiantv.com. Remember, you can also phone us. And don't forget, you can catch up with the region's news 24 hours a day on our broadband TV channel. Just log on to itvlocal.com forward slash. Meridian. That's it for now. I'll be back with the lunchtime news at 5 to 2. Bye for now. So, what's the deal with phone calls? Well, you can call anyone at any time in the UK for free. Oh. Plus, your monthly phone line rental, completely free. Really? All with Tiskly Broadband. Tiskly? Yeah. Tiskly's best ever broadband and phone offer. Let's hope we get the same deal in ten years' time. For free phone line rental and free unlimited UK phone calls with Tiskly Broadband, call 0800 107 9000. Ah, little Junior's first day at school. And it's last. <laughs> Pepper Army Lunchbox Minis. It's a little bit of an animal. A little bird told the hair that's so irresistibly soft, others can't keep their hands off. Try Head and Shoulders Shampoo and Conditioner. Our formula is made with ingredients that hydrate your hair and scalp and leaves you up to 100% flake free. The hair you can't get enough of. Head and Shoulders. Life is full of surprises. Do you know anything about this lot? Nah, I knew this year, apparently. Some bigger than others. With AXA PPP Healthcare, you know you can play safe. We have a plan that means if the NHS can't see you within six weeks from when you should have treatment, you'll go private straight away. Call or go online today. AXA. Be life confident. Because we don't have any shops, an Ocado van gets up to 20 cars off the road. Ocado.com, in partnership with Waitrose. Radox Daily Elements with Minerals. Also available for bath and shower. I'm Nadine Baggett, Celebrity Beauty Editor. There's a beauty product that's been splashed across page after page of magazines and newspapers. It contains what I think is a must-have anti-aging ingredient, pentapeptides. And it can give you dramatically younger-looking skin without any drama about the price. So what's the product everyone's talking about? Ole Regenerist. It used to be my little secret. Now Ole Regenerist is the worst-kept secret in beauty. To read the buzz for yourself, go to ole.co.uk. There's so much packed into First Magazine every week that they may just have to cope without you. First Magazine, style and substance every week. G'day. I hear you need some help painting the flat. Rolf! Yeah, have you got any paint and rollers? No. Oh. Woolly, nip down to Woolworths and get some from their new Worth It value range. Paint and rollers? Hello? Do you get the paint stuff then? No, look! I've got a Spider-Man mask and a web blaster instead! The new Worth It Value range. Hundreds of everyday essentials at ridiculously low prices. <laughs> Can you tell what you are yet? <laughs> Well, it looks like summer's well and truly over then, so how about a trip to Benidorm? You either love it or hate it, but does it deserve the reputation it's got? We'll find out in a new series tonight, Benidorm Unpacked at 10. But now, back to Phil and Fern. Oh. Right, I'll do the washing up. 
<laughs> He'll do anything for my spaghetti bolognese. From the high street to haute couture, get inside the fashion industry as we take you from design... It is a lovely shape, this coat. ...through to delivery. Meet the people who choose how we get dressed. You're actually telling people what to wear and they're listening to you. We are the trendsetters, really. Nice. Find out who's who, what we'll wear and how, only on This Morning. Welcome back. Now, during the news, I've been on the internet.